boys and girls. Look at these images. Do you see things moving? Slowly spinning? Changing colors? Creating shapes and objects that are not there? Making your eyes look like they're spinning or twisting or moving? Are you falling down a tunnel? Or going into a deep spiral? Do you see shapes or do you not see shapes? Do you see lines, boxes, diamonds, swirls, thin and thick, back and forth, creating what is called an optical illusion? Do you see straight lines or diagonal lines? boxes and bow ties. Something to think about. So today, boys and girls, what you're gonna work on is creating an op art box. As you see one I have here in front of me, it's a coloring page. You're gonna be using your colored pencils so you can keep some nice sh uh, sharp points. And as you see what I'm doing is I'm grouping my colored pencils into color groups. So I've got light green, dark green, orange and purple, yellows and oranges, blues maxed up, maybe black and white, and you want to color in each one of your sections a color group. You want to use two colors per square on your cube. Okay, so I'm going to start coloring a little bit. So I've got, I think, purple and orange here. I'm going to do this first box. Now you can do all yours with two colors for the entire box, or you can do two colors per side, or if you just want to do black and white, whatever you feel comfortable doing. You can make your uh, op art cube yours. It's just when you're coloring, you will think about how to do a color pattern. So you wanna do like every other coloring. As you see, I'm doing the orange and purple every other. And that's how I'll do the entire little piece there as I will do an every other coloring, like a checkerboard. You might wanna do opposite coloring you might want to think about doing a design with your colors, whatever works best for you. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. We'll finish crawling this one up and I'll come back in a few minutes. After all your boxes are colors, you see here in mine, I've got some different colors. I've got black and white, greens and whites, purple and orange, the blues, the yellows, the reds. If you want to cut out your cube, be careful cutting your cube out that you don't cut off any of the little uh, tabs on some of the sides there. Cut around those tabs. You're going to need those to put your box together. So carefully cut around, not cutting off those tabs with your scissors. Do it slowly, do it neatly, keep those sides straight. That's very important to make your box or your cube completely um, work. So I'm cutting here slowly but surely. I'll finish it up in a few minutes here. But as you're doing this, you want to think about how you're going to fold your box. So if you look at the box, there's a long strip 
and then two flaps on the side. And I'll show you in a few minutes how we start to glue. You're gonna slowly work those two flaps in and bring that big long piece around to all the sides. So I'm finishing up here cutting on the cube. Okay, so I'll move my trash out of the way. Now, before you start doing any gluing, you've got to crease all of your edges. So wherever you got two sides coming together, you want to fold it down, crease it really good, do all your sides there, and I'm going to kind of crease them going towards the center. So they're going to make the cube. So you want to start seeing your cube start forming there. So this one you're going to fold into the side, press it down, then fold that other one. You're going to fold it in half there right on the center line, press it down flat, and get your other flap. Sorry, it's not in the camera there. I do apologize for that. There we go. So you can kind of see how you're just slowly working those creases nice and tight. Once you get your sides creased, then you go back and you can start folding those little flaps that you did not cut off. That's very important to fold those in because those are gonna be what you're gonna put your glue and some tape on to hold your box together or your cube together because this is turning into a three-dimensional form, which is a cube, which is a six-sided shape, I believe that's right. Yep, six-sided shape, or form, I should say, not a shape, it's a form. Okay, so I've got to do everything, so I'm gonna start by gluing one tab. Yep. I lost my glue stick. I'll be back in a few minutes and I'll find my glue. There we go. Got my glue stick now and some tape. Now you're not trying to tape your box together. The tape is just to help hold it while the glue is drying. So I'm gonna start with that first tab there, put plenty of glue and you're gonna fold it into that side. And again, I'm sorry, that's not in the camera there, but I think it will be. And you wanna hold it a few seconds. This is your first one, so make sure that is dry so hold it with your fingers squeeze it good and tight make sure it sticks and once it's like it's holding you want to grab a piece of tape and you want to put a piece of tape on there so everybody will have some tape to use don't waste the tape on your box you're not trying to tape the box together you want to put the glue you can go to the other side and do the other tab Stick it together, hold it a few seconds, make sure it's staying. The body heat from your hands, or the heat from your hands, it's gonna help dry that glue. So if your hands are on it, touching it, it's pressing it flat, rubbing on it, it's going to dry that glue. Add a little piece of tape. So now you've got two sides together. Now you're gonna pull those flaps down. And make sure they're ready for the glue. Okay, so now we'll start on that side piece. Go have two flaps on one side, one on the other side. Now this one you're going to glue both sides at the same time because both of these are going to go at the same time. So you're going to stick those in, work one side first, hold it, get the other side in. If you can hold it, my glue stick keeps rolling away and you'll see it disappear there in a little bit. You want to hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Make sure it's sticking and it's holding once it's there. You see how your cube is starting to sh take shape. Press those edges down. Again, grab that tape. Just a little tiny piece of tape is all you nearly need. You don't need a lot. Go inside there, tape that flap down. That's just extra protection to make sure it's just gonna stay shut. Then what you got left is just you got a flap with no tabs, but you got two tabs inside your box. That's how you know your folded yours the right way. So you'll put glue on those two tabs. And you're gonna shut your box. You kind of hold those there. Now you're gonna say, well, that's just gonna be kind of hard to glue. They are kind of hard to glue, so you do have to use a tape on the outside here 
but with being clear tape, you really can't see the tape that much. So you just put a few pieces of tape to help hold it there, and it will dry. Squeeze those edges a little bit, make sure that flap is sticking. Check all your edges. If you see one that's not holding really well, go ahead and put a piece of tape on the outside of your box just to help hold it to make sure it's going to stay together. So I've got one corner there, just not looking too hot. So I'll put a little piece of tape on there just to make sure that corner is not going to go anywhere. Now what we're going to do is everybody's got a box now. And when I come back, we're going to take our boxes and we're going to put them together as one big sculpture. So it's going to be kind of a class project, a big group project. We're going to be sticking them together as one big thing. So now you've got your op art cube. 